get your feet in. Ready. We going outside? Outside. Outside. This is a bit big for you, but it's quite cold, so you've got to use it. Yeah. Yeah? No! Do you want to wear wellies? 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 <laughs> but you've got to stay there. Oh. Come on, sit down. You love wellies, don't you? Wellies. Mm -hmm. One, two, two. Good girl. Yeah. Like oh, you look like super welly baby. Good. Should we see how it is? <laughs> wow, never seen anyone look so good. Are you gonna help Daddy sweep up the leaves? Yes? No? Alright, we'll see. Are you gonna help me tidy up? Look, there's leaves everywhere. Can you see them? Or are you just trying to escape through the gate? I can see you, you know. Don't rip that off. Come, we need to get all these leaves up. Can you see the leaves on the floor? Mom. Yeah, all the leaves. These ones, look. These ones. Can you see all the leaves? Yeah, we're not going to kick them to get them up. We've got to pick them up and sweep them up. Okay? Okay? Okay, let's crack on then. Come, let's get the broom. You're going to help me sweep? Come on then. Yes, we know you can open a gate, but I'd rather you not. No, we're not going in the car. We're sweeping up the leaves. Look, we have to get the leaves and put them in this bag. Look, Abby. Oh no! Did you break your leaf? Yeah. All done? Yeah. We'll go around the back of the garden. Go on then. Come on, Pengu. Why are you walking like that? <laughs> your big clothes. Let's go see if the garden is still there. Be careful, mind your step. Up. Oh, look at you, big girl. Are you walking like a big person? It's a lovely What was that? Oh, that's a proud smile. Grass is a bit wet and icy. Good thing you've got your wellies on. Maybe daddy should have put his on. Can you come up? Hold on. That's it. And climb up. Oh, look at that. Well done. Let's go put this in the compost. Not sure if you want to see what's inside here. But add these dried leaves to it.
just amazing how the weather actually changes in the season. Still around in there. So this is where I had all my veggies planted over the summer. Still got some kale there, soldiering on. I think I got some more down here as well. I haven't even been out to harvest any of this. It's just been so cold and miserable. So yeah, all the gardening for the year is practically done. You know what time it is when you've got the Kleenex tissue at the ready this time of the year. Oh man, it's so cold. So um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spend a few minutes out here with this little madam. She seems to be enjoying herself, despite it being so cold. I don't know how she's doing so well, but she's loving it. Picking up all the stones and putting them onto the paving area. <sighs> yeah, always fun. Uh, I'm gonna spend a little time out here with her and then I'm gonna do a bit of recording for this week's video. As you can hear, my voice is a bit, <clears throat> a bit off because um, we haven't been well in the Malcolm household, if I'm being honest. I'm just on the mend at the moment. I've been off work. So um, yeah, hopefully all will be well. It's not COVID, which I'm grateful for. I uh, did have a test and it came back negative. So really, really happy about that. But still, honestly, man flu is real. And if you're out there and you think man flu isn't real, trust me, it is. I was literally in bed for a whole day, couldn't even move around, thank God. I had my wonderful wife looking after me. No, you can't climb on there, Abby, that's ice. Literally frozen solid. Look at this, Abby. What's this? <laughs> what is it? Ice. Ice, you know it's ice. <gasps> uh oh, it fell. You gotta pick it up. Here's another piece. It's cold, feel it. It's cold. No, not in your mouth. Isn't that freezing on your hand? You're so good. Anyway, enough of that. Gonna get you in in a bit. Let's go have a bit of fun and then we head back inside. Okay? Cold, cold. It is cold. Now, hey guys, welcome back. Now, I managed to get the little one off to sleep. We finally went inside to get a bit warm, had some lunch and I've just put her to bed and I thought I'd just give you a bit of update. This week um, I haven't done much in the way of making a video which is why I'm just doing this little sit down as like I said before the whole family weren't doing so well. In fact at the moment I'm still not 100% you can probably still hear it in my voice uh, but I just wanted to just touch base. Um, it's been a year since I've been making these videos on YouTube. A year has flown by so quickly. I think one of the main ones that I was thinking about doing was to actually buy our first investment property. Um, but you know, with the market and everything that's been going on with the pandemic, not only do I think it's a good idea to wait, but also, um, you know, the fact of the matter is, is so much uncertainty at the moment. So, you know, we've kind of taken a step back and sort of allowing God to lead. Nobody knows what tomorrow will bring. So we've got to sort of just live each day as it comes and you know where possible just make plans in advance so we've decided to just step back from that um, I've also got so many other things going on um, which I'm sure I'll probably share with you closer um, to you know to when things start moving along I'm sure you remember before that I actually got an architect to do some drawings on our garage to try and see if we can turn it into an annex um, you know a little granny flat somewhere for Sophia's mom perhaps to to stay when she gets older or if there's some way of making an income from it um, such as like Airbnb or something like that is something we're considering but the, the, the plan was to try and do that now sooner rather than later the reality is so expensive to do building work and it just keeps getting more and more expensive uh, so if we can get it done now you know as opposed to five or ten years from now I think it will definitely help with the property value um, going up over time so um, that's I think it's going to be our main priority right now and focus in trying to invest in our future. Unfortunately this hasn't been smooth sailing because we found it so difficult to get a builder that could give us a quote, um, a schedule of works of how long it will take to complete. Now I've been in contact with around 10 builders and I'm still waiting to hear back from some of them. I've gotten rough figures um, on the 20 to 35,000 mark. I've even had one said 65,000. I'm not sure what they were planning on doing considering that you know the structure is already there it's literally more 
off a conversion slash renovation job there's no way he's going to get my 65,000 not that I have that anyway so I'm still in limbo at the moment um, just trying to nurse this cold really now I love being outdoors and you know one of the best things when you're on the mend is to actually get outside get some fresh air you know go for walks and hopefully that will help me um, recover a lot quicker I am doing a lot better but sadly Saf is now down um, we sort of roll reversed in a way because it was me that was not feeling well on Sunday Monday of this week and now um, it's her turn sadly I hope I didn't give it I hope I didn't pass the virus on to her but I think I probably did um, so I've been looking after her well trying anyway I'm nowhere as good at looking after her as she is looking after me and the kids it's winter so not much going on I'm just looking at these birds going absolutely crazy um, I don't know what this is gonna sound like but Abby's sleeping in the house Saf is sleeping in the house so I thought i will just come out here with my copper and um, just have a bit of fresh air and just try and record something for this week so that's where we are at the moment just in a bit of limbo one good news though I have had a contact from a builder which is quite promising um, he was recommended by a very close friend of mine that goes to my church and he came around did some measurements because we're actually finding it quite difficult this winter because of the, the storms that we've been having being an old cottage there's a lot of draft and the girls bedrooms are colder than they need to be let's just put it that way we can literally feel like draft coming through the floorboards when it's really windy outside and the reality is that it will cost a fortune especially with um, you know gas and fuel prices um, where they are at the moment to keep these rooms heated so my friend's son came out to see how much it will cost to actually insulate underneath or um, inside the garage um, which is beneath my, my daughter's bedrooms to see how much it will cost to insulate that so that's in process he came around really nice chap measured up and said he'll get back to me now I'm hoping because he was a friend of a friend you know he won't just keep me waiting for three months like some of the others have and um, I've tried cheekily getting him to look at the whole project and to see whether or not it's something he'll be willing to do and he didn't say no he, he took the drawings, I emailed um, them to him as well and he had a walk around and he said it's a fairly straightforward job. I told him, listen, I'm your guy, I'm, I'll be around to help you out if you need help because it's a small business um, that he's currently running. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. Well, I'm trying to not put the cart ahead of the horse here, but you know, by God's grace, hopefully it will be positive and not only will he want to do the insulating job, but he'll also be interested in doing the complete conversion. Um, as long as I can afford it, that is. That's always going to be a, a huge, huge factor. So, um, yeah, for those of you who are suffering through this cold, just as I am, um, you know, I hope you guys are keeping warm. As soon as I'm feeling better, I'm sure I'll be trying to make some other videos. Um, just keeping you up to speed of what's going on. Um, thank you so much for all your comments on the previous videos. Uh, we, we had a little downtime. I think Saf and I and the girls, we just needed a, a little break. So we went to London, uh, went and visited a few sites, which is really nice. Spent some time with the family, which is always great. And um, as winter is a, a sort of here now, there's not a lot of places that you can go um, in the same way that you can do in the summer. But thank you guys so much for all your support, um, you know, during this year of my new project, uh, making these videos on YouTube, really appreciate it. And um, as I continue to get well, I hope that you guys will be well also. Now I'm about to head back in because as much as it's nice being out here, um, listening to the birds and taking in the fresh air, it is freezing. <laughs> so um, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Of course, if you're liking the content guys, if it's made you laugh, smile, or anything has been informative over, over this year, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and of course hit the like button um, I really do appreciate it and it also shows me you know that the content is being um, received in a positive way I do respond to all your comments and you know whether it's a question or whatever you know I'm, I'm quite good at going back over the videos as well and just answering those questions so. as always this is Kenroy a really sick Kenroy saying I'll see you when you see me take care guys <laughs>